you people think you know what a roach looks like. Well, let me show you what a roach looks like, a Key Largo roach. If you notice, there's a scale behind this roach. And this is a Key Largo roach, South Florida roach. And this little bad boy will fly. And it doesn't just fly from one chair to another. It can fly 30 or 40 feet. And they can land on your head, and it's very annoying. Now this roach I got from my downstairs, which I use for storage. But it's an inch and a half long and a half inch wide, and it's not the biggest of its species. This is a moth that's a little bigger than the roach. And this is a chiquita bug, which is also a little bigger than the roach. But these things are huge. They're huge. And when you see them crawling across the floor, the last thing that you want to do is step on it. Believe me, the shit that comes out of them roaches is just unbelievable. This is a nuclear detonation. This is the God Pod and the Eye of God. A God that has been represented thousands and thousands of years before the Great Pyramid was built. Nonetheless, what, what, whatever created our society, our religion, and our politics, this God has been on this planet dominating this world for millions of years. This one dollar bill is a depiction of its ability to create what is known as Euclidean optics because by folding the one dollar bill in certain configurations you can see different creatures come to life including the four beasts spoken about in Revelations 4-6 and the six-winged seraphim and all of the non-noticeable pictographs that appear in the one dollar bill are all described in the Bible and if you know how to break the codex which I broke I have the greatest discovery of the 21st century breaking the codex between the King James Bible and the one dollar bill which is how I discovered the skull and bones with teeth located on the nose of the hog nosed bat and the description and link for a hog nosed bat and a great horned owl which is on the other side right here the great horned owl notice the fluffy beak and the nostrils in the beak and the eyes and then notice how the wings of the owl cover the seed pods the description for the great horned owl and the skull and bones with teeth and its wings that cover the god pod and the evil seed of death in the opposite direction because it's the protectorant of the great pyramid which represents the god of all things 